Hello everyone, I'm Lulu, the RC chick, and today I'll be taking a look at this awesome crane truck, truck to truck. So it's going to be a lesser model, and also it's going to be a different cabin. So this cabin is going to be from Hercules Hobby with the 3363 series, and then everything else in the back is going to be fully lesser. So now let's jump into it, details and specifications, and let's see how it goes. So right over here, this is a 114th scale truck to truck, and you do see the cabin over here. We do have it painted in this red color as well as this awesome gray color and white. So those are the colors we're going for. And of course, your obvious black colors around here. You do have your front grill, but if you do seem like there's some decorations over here and accessories missing, that's because they all come right here. We send them to you right in the package. Oh wow, that's a lot of accessories that you can actually fit onto the model yourself. So over here in the front, we do have a few details like this towing pin over here, so you can easily just remove it. And it does have a cover, full metal cover, so this part is metal, so it's not going to break when you're towing anything heavy or when you're towing this truck itself. Now on the top over here, we have this awesome blue and red rotating bar warning light, so we're gonna check them out. So you only get one mode for this one. There's not many modes that you can switch on, but it's a very nice light. Now coming over to the side, of course over here you're going to have your RC Lesso tires and of course it's embedded right there in the tire because our chassis is a full metal chassis from Lesso, an 8x8 and of course you're going to have your full metal wheel hubs over here. Now coming up to the top, you do have your side mirrors that are adjustable and of course an openable cabin door. So right here you can see the fully detailed cabin interior with a lot of stuff that you can actually look at which makes it look so much better. All right, now out here in the back, that's going to be our hydraulic crane from Lesu. So this is actually an amazing crane. You can also get a flight jib attachment for it as well for reaching any other parts that you may need. And over here, we do have a lot of decorations and some storage boxes like this one right over here. In here, that's where you're going to find all the electronics that we have to connect to the train so that we get to make it work. So over here, we do have our receiver that controls the crane's movement and everything. And down here, we are going to have the valve block for the hydraulic that works for the crane. Now over here, we do have your full metal support stands for the crane because you're going to need to have your tractor very stable while you use this and lift all your heavy stuff. And of course, you do have some extra decorations over here. So these are going to be full metal, just like everything else in the back, except for the tires, of course. And also the fenders over here are also going to be plastic fenders, but the chassis is going to be full metal as well as the Fifth wheel over here, we do have a metal plate as well to cover this part over here. So this just makes it that much heavier actually. It's a little bit hard to lift and through here, there's a little bit of a mesh. You can actually see most of your hydraulic connections or hydraulic valves in there as well. And now in the back over here, we do have this full metal plate that is connected to the hydraulic crane over there in the front. So most of the lines for the hydraulic crane have been incorporated into the rails and the chassis. And then they come out over here to control, of course, your support stands on the sides that you're going to have four of them for the crane to stabilize the tractor truck. Now over here on the other side of the tractor truck, the crane truck, of course. You do have a view of the crane over here with the other support stands on the side. And right over here, that's going to be your hydraulic oil tank. We do have two inlets for this. So if you need to change the hydraulic oil at any time, you can just use whichever one that you need on this side. And under here, these are the valves that are connected for the hydraulics. And over here, we do have this other box. So this is not going to be just your normal decoration box. We do have some other parts that are housed in here. So some other electronics. Now over here, we're going to turn this on. So where's the battery compartment? It's actually right under the cabin and you do of course have to open it using the lever over here, just pull it. And this lever mechanism can just stay, you don't have to hold it. And then open this up. So this is as far as it opens. You cannot go all the way or you're going to break something. And I'm gonna be using this 5,200 milliamp LiPo 2S battery for this one. So right here, that's going to be our T connector. And of course, we've got some Velcro to keep everything in place and the battery will sit on this metal plate. 
So because this is a very special truck and we have a lot of functions to do with it, we're going to be using this PL18 EV radio to control both the crane and the truck to truck. So let's turn that on. And now over here, I've already put the battery on the inside and we do have our T connector, as I said before, and we're just going to connect those and then turn everything on. So now that we have everything on and ready to run, we're going to test out the light system on this one. So first, that's going to be your bar warning light on the top over here. So you only get one mode, so it's either off or on. So you do have a blue side over here and a red side, and you can see on the inside of this bar light, so it rotates, but actually there is a little plate that's rotating around the lights to make it look like it's rotating, which is really cool. And there's two lights right here in the grill, and you can turn those on. There's actually about four different modes. You can switch in between for these. And off. So let's just leave those on. And over here, you're going to have your headlights. Using the same switch, just flip it upwards. You're going to have the lights on the sides down here turn on. One more time. And then you're going to have your actual headlights turn on, as well as the lights on the side over here. You do have some lights. And now for the sound system, of course, we have an amazing sound system that has been installed on this one. So this is going to be your switch. Flip it up. Just listen to that. That's really good. Let's try the beep. Whoa. That has to be like one of the loudest beeps I've heard on a truck. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. And of course, let's check out the steering on this one. We do have two axle steering that's in the front and this one's in the middle over here. So all you have to do, it's been set up on this one. And of course, you're going to get some steering lights as well. So you've got some indicators. So that's two in the front and one in the back as well. So on this one over here, we do have two speed transmission and an option for you to put it in neutral. So this is going to be a switch. Right now it is in neutral, so you can actually easily just roll it around. But of course you're not going to be able to drive. So now let's try the speed. The first speed. Let's turn around. We've got good brakes on it. Just listen to that sound of the brakes. Now that's a good sound. And let's bring her back. Put it in neutral so I can show you guys the speed we have on this heavy, heavy model. <laughs> Actually, oh my god, it's so heavy. So let's lift her up. Okay, here we go. Make sure we are having a safe distance. So the first speed. Neutral. Second speed. So this is going to be our low speed. And this is going to be our high speed. And of course, not to forget, there is a differential lock on this model. So when we are moving right now, it's open. So once we lock it on this button right here, I have to be careful. I hate doing this. Oh, there we go. All oh, the tires are moving at the exact same speed, giving you traction and you can go through a lot of terrain. All right, now let's take a look at what's under our amazing full metal lesu chassis. So over here on the side, you can see we do have in the rear dual tires on each axle. So over here, you also do have pivoting axles in the back. And you do have suspension on these axles over here, as well as the ones in the front. You have suspension on them. And you do have, of course, your servos, one for the differential lock as well as the other for your steering. Now over here, that's going to be your speed transmission servo and that's over here, that's your transfer case for all the tires over here in the back. And when you take a close look at the tires, the ones in the back have a different tread 
than the ones here in the front, both of the ones on the front axles and the ones in the back axle. So that's such an interesting thing. So now let's check out the operation of the hydraulic crane. So you do have four support stands, as I said before. So first of all, let's release them so that we can have a very stable base. So this is going to be your switch right here. Pull it up. So that's as far as all your stands goes, which gives you just good enough clearance. And of course, before we lower them, we have to actually manually flip the ones in the front over here. So let's bring her back. So this one's in the front. There is a little bit of a screw over here that you have to turn to flip this all the way around. So right opposite this switch, which extended all of our support stands, we're going to use this switch over here to lower down the supports so that we can be able to have a great base for the truck. So as you can see right over here, we do have a little bit of our truck all the way up there. So most of our weight has been distributed to all these support stands. Now we can safely operate our hydraulic crank. All right, now let's check out the operation of the hydraulic crane. So the two joysticks are going to be the ones operating this crane. So let's take it out of this prison first and foremost. So this is going to be the bigger cylinder. And of course, take it out. I think this is okay. Let's spin it around. And then of course, let's finally release it. So right over here, as you can see, we do have around three, I think 270 degrees rotation for it. So you can have mixed control, you can turn on the pump, and right over here, we do have the hook where you can hook up everything that you need to carry using the crane. All right, let's put it right back. You're going to use the same steps as when you brought it out. Rotate it back. That's good enough. So right over here, I do have a loaded motorcycle in our package on this awesome trailer that I did in the last video. Please watch the last video because this trailer is super cool. So now let's unload this awesome little piece of, you know, cargo that we have. So let's lift it up. Spin it around. Put it down. And of course you can have your crew come and disconnect this. And of course, when you need to load more stuff, you can just connect it and load whenever you want. And once you're done, you can put it away. Just look at how amazing and cool this looks. Everything on this full metal from the back over here only the cabin is not metal and everything else is very, very high quality. It feels really, really good. So what do you guys think of this? All right, everyone. Now that's our 8x8 full metal chassis from Lesu with an MD model cabin over here in the front, which is for this 3363 series of the brand. So I'm just so happy to see how much, like there's so much premium work done on this model, which you guys definitely need to have if you're looking for something super amazing. Of course I have it in stock. And if you need any upgrades, you can let me know anytime. So what do you guys think of this awesome crane truck? And I'll see you in the next video. Do not forget to contact me for any purchases and bye.